Let's take a few minutes and go over how chiropractic works. It's very, very simple. And we're going to go back to the beginning. So let's draw this dot here and have that represent the male seed. And let's have this represent the female seed or the female cell. Now, those two seeds join, all right? And at that instant, a bioelectrical infusion of life-creating awesomeness occurs. And as the scientists watch this, those two cells form to one, and that cell then begins to grow and multiply. And it multiplies and multiplies and multiplies, 4 into 16, 16 to 32, until it grows into what looks like a little blackberry, a little mulberry. Sometimes it's called the mulberry mass. And as that starts to grow, that developing cluster of cells becomes what? What is the very first organ to develop in a developing baby? The brain. The brain forms first. So the brain forms like so. The brain forms first. Very important to know that. Sometimes people think it's the heart. The heart is just another organ. It's just a pump. Yes, if you have a heart problem, it will kill you, but so will a pancreas problem and a liver problem. It's just a matter of how fast it will kill you, okay? But the brain forms first. It is the master controller of all. Then as the scientists continue to watch, from this, a cord starts to develop like so, sometimes called the notochord, the, primi the primitive notochord. There's lots of different names at different points in time for this developing person. And then so as the scientists continue to watch, we observe that from one side of the brain down this cord, all of these fibers begin to start to grow. And of course, there's thousands and thousands of them growing out from the brain down, from above down into forming the body. And of course, thousands and thousands of them like fiber optic lines. And as the scientists continue to watch as this develops, at the end of these nerves, all along here, internally and into the limbs, you might say little nerve buds form. And at the end of those, of course, all the organs form. The heart will begin to form, kidneys will begin to form, stomach will form, all the digestive system will form. Of course, all the nerves developing the arm, hands, and fingers will form all the muscles, all the joints, all the ligaments. It's unbelievable. Of course, into the legs, all the leg muscles, knee joint, the kneecap, into the calf, your feet, your toes, your toenails will all form at the ends of these nerves that grew out from the brain. Now, the brain is so important that it is cased in bone. And at the bottom of the skull, there is a hole for the spinal cord to go through from the brain. The brain actually has a tail. The tail of the brain is the spinal cord. In fact, the spinal cord is just like an extension of the brain in many circles. Now, the spinal cord also is so important, it also is cased in bone. So there's all of these vertebra stacked up like this, casing and protecting the spinal cord itself, all the way down to the tailbone in each side of the pelvis. Brain protected by skull, spinal cord protected by vertebra. And this is where the problem starts. The vertebra are movable. We can move and bend and twist. We can carry stuff and put load and demand on those vertebra. So then what can happen? The vertebra can and will shift, twist, become misaligned any of a number of different ways. It can buckle this way. It can cause a twist like that. 
a couple of vertebrae twist this way, this one twist that way. See, any of an infinite number of combinations depending on what you have done. All the sitting you've done, all the work you've done, the kneeling you've done, if you're laying tile, the you know, driving if you're driving truck, picking up kids, the birth process itself, pushing a baby through this opening can and will push the vertebra back into the nerves and then the mom wants an epidural. Okay, these vertebrae can and will shift and move out of their normal position. In chiropractic, we call this subluxation. Subluxation. Okay, which means vertebra out of its normal position. You can have a subluxated tooth. That's what braces are for. You could bend your finger back. That is a subluxated finger. If we have a vertebra shifted, that is a subluxated vertebra. The trouble here, though, is that when it happens in the spine, it can pinch and irritate one of these nerves that's coming out from between the vertebra, just like you see on our model here. Okay, there's all of these nerves. And so if a vertebra twists, bends, shifts, it can irritate and put pressure, and then sometimes what you might say choke, those nerves. In fact, as the scientists watch this, they actually have instruments where you can hook up a little light bulb and a tiny light bulb can be lit with the power flowing through a nerve from the brain. So now recall, 100% of the life in your body resides in the brain. If you break your neck, you are paralyzed because you cut off the life going into your body. Or if you really break it, you are flat out dead. In fact, they used to hang people. Why? Because it would kill them because it cut off the power from brain to the body. Therefore, the body dies. So 100% of the life of your body is in your brain. And so here's the main question. How much of the life in your brain that's supposed to go to your heart do you want getting to your heart? Well, a hundred percent. How much of the power from the brain that goes into your right arm do you want going into your arm? Well, a hundred percent. How much of the power from the brain going to your digestive system do you want to actually get there? Well, you want one hundred percent. How much of the power from the brain do you want to get into your legs? You can walk, move, bend, and do all this stuff. Well, you want one hundred percent. The only way for that to be true is if the path from the brain down the spinal cord to the legs is perfectly intact and there is no interference. No interference. So the goal of the chiropractor is very straightforward. Check the vertebra of the spine. Make sure all the vertebra are adjusted as good as possible so that the 100% of power from the brain that's supposed to go into everywhere of your body actually gets there. This should start to get some thoughts going in your mind. For example, if someone has all kinds of digestive problems, is it because they lack a certain drug in their blood when they were born or something? No. It will not matter what you eat, what drug you take, if the power going to your stomach is only getting there at say 70%. If I have carpal tunnel and I can't pick up a cup of coffee and my fingers are tingling, what does that mean? It means that the power going into my arm is not 100%, it may only be 60%. That's why I have carpal tunnel. If I have pain going into my leg, hamstring, calf, sciatica, or whatever, what does that mean? It means the 100% of power is not getting into my leg. Maybe it's only at 80%. If a person suffers a horrible lower back injury, they will have 0% going into their legs because they are paralyzed and in a wheelchair. So if we can damage it bad enough to make it 0%, well, you can have everything in between from 0% to a perfect 100%. Do you want the power that's in your brain, 100% of the life, to get to your heart, to get to your stomach, to get to your key internal organs, to get to the surface of the skin and your limbs and extremities? 
And the answer, of course, is yes. Yes. This is what chiropractic is. This is what chiropractic does. No other profession on earth does this or has this concern. Chiropractic has nothing to do with medicine, nothing to do with osteopathy, nothing to do with dentistry, nothing to do with nutrition or any of these other things. Chiropractic is one thing and one thing only, and that is making sure that the vertebra and the spine are adjusted as well as possible so that the power, the life force from the brain is able to get to where it's supposed to get. That's it. When it doesn't, we have many different named symptoms, different named conditions. Oh, I have gastric reflux, or I have this, or I've got this nerve thing, or this tendonitis, or I've got all of these named things, all right? But when it comes to real health, real true health comes from having 100% of the power in your brain getting into your body. That is key number one. So we must have all the power from the brain getting into the body. It doesn't take much pressure on a nerve to make this little light bulb go out completely. The nerves are very sensitive. You've hit your funny bone. You know how sensitive the nerves are. Most of these nerves you cannot feel. You cannot feel the nerves going to your liver right now. You cannot feel your left kidney right now. Oh, my left kidney is really sore today. So you can't feel that. Because you can only feel, now watch carefully, about 10% of your body. Mostly the outer surfaces. So you can feel the outer surfaces, and yes, some internal things if things are haywired. All right? But most of your body you cannot feel. This is why. People will say, why would I go to the chiropractor if I feel good? Because how you feel is irrelevant because you can only feel 10% of your body. What about the other 90%? Is it possible you can have subluxation of a few vertebra, starting to choke the power off, but you don't feel it yet? And the answer is, of course, yes, because you won't feel it until it gets so bad. Just like you can have a hip deteriorating and you feel fine. But when it's finally bone on bone, believe me, you will feel it. But it has been brewing for years. You can have teeth that feel fine, but a cavity is dig, 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 and it finally hits the nerve and you feel it. But how long ago did that cavity start? Months ago. And it should have been checked and fixed months ago before you even felt it. So prevention is much more valuable than waiting for a major crisis to go to the chiropractor or go to the dentist or go to the doctor doctor. So here we have it. Basic anatomy, basic embryology, the brain powers the body, 100% of the life is in the brain. How much of that life power do you want getting to all the key organs and all the tissues, all the muscles of the body? And the answer is all of it. Last question here. For how long? Forever. You want 100% power going into the body for every single day of your life that's possible. That is why people that go to the chiropractor, yes, they feel better and all this kind of stuff, and that's why they go forever. Why? Because it's common sense. That's why. If you have more power going into your cells, tissues, organs, and glands, you are going to be a healthier human being. Why would you not want that? Why would you not want that forever? Well, of course you would, all right? And so would I, and I do, because of course I am a chiropractor because of how much chiropractic helped me, and so now I help as many people as I can with chiropractic care. So chiropractic, very straightforward. It's an incredible gift to humanity. I will treat patients. I'm only using my bare hands. No pills, no drugs, no needles, no nothing. Just my bare hands. Adjustments and the body has an innate, an innate, a built-in healing ability. If you take a steak, okay, you bought it at the grocery store and you cut it, will that cut heal? No. Why? Because the life going to that meat is not there. It's dead. The tissue is dead. If I cut myself, it will heal 
because I have the life from my brain going into my body, all right? It is about life force, it is about life power, it is about nerve flow, and the chiropractor's job is to make sure you've got as much nerve flow as possible every single day of your life.